Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex, I'm standing outside Wembley Stadium after a 1-0 loss against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. Uh, Nina, you know, I, I, I've really struggled to formulate questions. I'm shocked with what I've seen um, and you know, we could have we easily won that game and, and we've come out very unusually you know this I've never known this to happen to Chelsea like even when we lost on penalties we stayed in there until penalties I mean I have to agree with a lot of other fans it, the finish the way we capitulated conceding that goal it, it, it is Spursy I don't know what to say I've no analysis in me I'm just so disappointed I'm I'm cold I'm hungry I'm yeah heartbroken really and usually I'd come out here and say we we deserve to win it or we deserve to lose it but it's not we that team threw it away for everyone us fans you know coming down to support every single game how can you not possibly be able to put a chance away it's the bare minimum for a footballer it doesn't matter how far down into a process you are it doesn't matter how well developed you are as a footballer how much experience you have if you've gotten to this level where you are playing for Chelsea first team got to put a chance away come on so yeah they did deserve to lose it not we they did that team out there because chance after chance after chance just couldn't do it Gallagher in the space of a minute Jackson Enzo Palmer Sterling everyone the sassy the sassy shocking and I thought we really did pick up after those first 10 minutes where we were just kicking the ball out of play you know losing it in dangerous areas giving it away slip ups here and there and I thought okay we grew into it I start to see some sort of signs of you know, football coming to life, chances created and nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, offside goal for us, offside goal for them. I thought, OK, this is starting to look like a Chelsea-Liverpool actual game because we've been here before, we've seen how it plays out. But yeah, in that second half, we should have at least been three, four, lot, four up. So yeah, when it gets to extra time and you perform like that and Pochettino has just come out and said that they were playing for penalties in extra time. Can you believe that? We were playing for penalties. Just let that sink in. If your manager's coming out and telling you that, well, yeah, whatever Jurgen Klopp said to the, the players at 90 minutes was obviously not we're playing for penalties. It was go and get the job done and dusted. And our manager was holding on for penalties. I don't know what to say. That's very disappointing. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I've just heard it. So I blame everyone. Chances like players didn't finish, Pochettino for whatever he was saying to the players, however he was motivating the players in those uh, times where he had to, to talk to his players. Um, yeah, I mean Petrovic kept us in the game. Kept, Petrovic really kept us in the game and if I look back at our path to this Carabao Cup final, Petrovic is probably the only one that can actually take credit for getting us here. Yeah, okay, Midrick with the late equaliser, but again, why did Midrick need to get that late equaliser in the quarter final? Because again, nobody was finishing chances in that game. And then it got to Barra, which the first leg was so difficult. Okay, the second leg was done, but again, Petrovic, you know how disappointing it is. There's only so much a goalkeeper can carry you and he carried us tonight. He carried us into extra time. Time, believe it or not because Liverpool also had chances and you know Kelleher was amazing yes but Petrovic equally kept chances out and to, to see your outfield players doing nothing for you out there well what can you do and then conceding again who's coaching set pieces two goals tonight conceded from set pieces I don't know what to say it's the same things and when you look for improvements where do you see those improvements because it's time and time again that we are looking so weak at set pieces and we're getting exploited you know there you go Van Dyke puts it away job done um yeah I think I think I think you've hit a lot of nails on the head what are your thoughts on Pochettino I mean I, mean, I know you weren't potch out, you weren't necessarily massively potch in. Um, you're sort of on the fence a little bit. Um, when we last spoke, I have to say from what you've just told me, what Pochettino said after the game, that's very, very disappointing. Yeah. Even if he did say that, why the fuck are you making it public? I mean, that's stupid. You know, you're, you're asking for fans to question your mentality when you're trying to prove that you're not a Spursy manager. So actually, now that you've said that, um, that's made me think a little bit, which, you know, I've, I've been back in Poch a lot. Yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm disappointed, especially after hearing that. You know, father's just told me that and, you know, whatever source it's come from. Um, but yeah, it's disappointing. Is that how you motivate a group of young players that have never won anything in a final? 
I don't know. Yeah, so what if we've come through once on penalties? You can't rely on that, especially against a side like Liverpool. And, you know, fair play. Jurgen Klopp brought out three, four players that, you know, without being disrespectful, I probably couldn't name them off the top of my head now. But they still played. They played their hearts out. And, uh, yeah, frankly, how can you look at our squad and say, oh, it was a lack of experience today, it was a lack of, uh, you know, players not being at that level? Absolutely, that excuse does not stand. Does not stand. That was our first team that's playing alongside each other all season. They gave Manchester City a hard time away at the Etihad not a few days ago. And now coming tonight to, yeah, Liverpool, That the, what they're going to say is you can beat our reserves team. And yeah, damn right we couldn't beat their reserves team. So do we look at, this isn't a game where we look at Liverpool and go, oh, you know, well, you're just too good. We, we have to really just look at ourselves. We really have to look at ourselves, you know. I don't think Liverpool played their best football tonight, but how can they? They've got so many key players out, but they've been carrying this momentum week in, week out. They've got a manager that's motivating them. They've got players that are playing for the manager, but there's so much disjointed at Chelsea at the minute that, you know, how are these players getting motivated from, from their manager, for example? So, yeah, you have to take that into consideration. But, you know, I said that one thing is that, you know, Pochettino arrived today at Wembley having never played or, you know, take, taken these players players out to a final yeah and Klopp's done it year in year out and you know yeah he's done it with different players each time but that goes to show what a manager that's built a real affinity with his team can still do without having all his best players on the pitch how you motivate them how you keep them hungry I know our players were hungry I'm not saying they weren't I mean I don't know if everything that they said was true beforehand and how much you know Enzo and De Sassi they all wanted it I do believe they wanted to win tonight but you cannot possibly go through into extra time and say yeah, we'll hang on to penalties. You don't get that. You don't get that against the best teams. You don't get that, you know, against uh, lower level teams. That is just not a mentality that a top club like Chelsea should have. Are we a top club? <laughs> That's a funny question. Everyone in the comments will tell you that we aren't. <laughs> what do you think? Like we're at this playing. stage right now? We're not playing and we're not performing and we're not acting like a top club. You know, this was our closest shot we have at European football. I look at us in the league. We've been up and down all season. Do we get better now? That horrible run's coming up again, Alex. Do you remember? We were there. Yeah, maybe we pulled out a few points more than we expected, but those teams have now picked up a lot more as well. So we have to look at ourselves. But tonight, we were our own worst enemies. It wasn't Liverpool outplaying us. It wasn't them outclassing us. It was them with a good mentality, but it was us with just, uh, yeah, just not finishing our chances and being wasteful. Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. This video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is an easy way of having fun uh, when it comes to betting on the football. Now, think of bingo, but without numbers. So rather than having 10, 12, 5, you would have corners, yellow cards and goals, for example. And that would be an example of a line. Now, you can win up to £175 each game with Match Bingo. There are some games you can win more. And spend is only capped at £2. All right? So if you're worried about not playing responsibly, this is probably a good game for you. I do just want to give these guys a, a little bit of appreciation as well. Because 35% of, of the money they make actually goes to the Stroke Association. Which um, is really, really good, to be fair. Um, I don't know many companies that do that. Let me know what you guys think. Click the link in the description and uh, make sure you're over 18 as well.